Hey, good morning. Trust you well. So the title of the message that I feel to share today is Do my past mistakes or do our past mistakes have to determine our future? So I have a question for you. The question is this, how do you see the future? And there's two possible answers for that. And it's not dissimilar to driving a car. The first one is, are you determining where you're going in the future by concentrating on what's happening in the rear view mirror? In other words, your past, your past mistakes. Or are you concentrating on what's happening in front of you by looking ahead into the future with a goal, understanding the promises that are over your life and using your rear view mirrors as a reflection so that you don't continue to take into the future the mis mistakes of the past. So we know that Satan is the father of all lies. One of the biggest ones that he has for us is the quality of my future is determined by my past mistakes. I want to read for you Timothy 1 verse 13. So it says, Even though I was once a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent man, I was shown mercy because I acted in ignorance and unbelief. The grace of the Lord was poured out on me in abundance, along with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. So we know that Timothy was written um, by Paul, Paul the Apostle, and if there was anybody that could have buckled under the pressure of past mistakes, um, in that scripture he calls himself a blasphemer, calls himself a violent man, he was insular. It would have been Paul that buckled under those mistakes, but he didn't allow those mistakes to determine who he became in the future. He believed the promises of God over his life. And we've got to do exactly the same. One of, the core, one of our core beliefs should be that my past mistakes do not determine who I am. What determines who I am and my future is the promises of God over my life, not my feelings. So the truth is available to us in Jeremiah 29 verse 11. It says there, I know the promises I have for you. Promises to prosper you and not to harm you. If we live in regret, we might as well tear that page right out of the Bible. And I know it's harsh to say this, but if we live in regret, it's actually a sin. Because of scriptures like Jeremiah 29, 11. So I want to encourage you as I'm closing that um, if you have anything uh, that you regret, leave it in the past. If you have relationships that need to be restored, go and face those people and say what has to be said in love. And let's live out Jeremiah verse 29, Jeremiah 29 verse 11 in our lives. So I hope there's been an encouragement and we hope to see you very soon.